We've been working um, in chronic myeloid leukaemia since the 1990s. We faced a situation where patients had a survival of around three to four years and we couldn't do much to improve that. And then around about uh, 2000, the kinase inhibitor drugs became available and we had this huge opportunity. Chronic myeloid leukaemia was the first disease where these kinase inhibitors were actually tested, how we could use them most effectively, whether they could be stopped, and what sort of dose we needed to use, a whole lot of questions that gave us a lot of challenges both in the clinic and in the lab to understand why some patients didn't respond and some patients had perfect responses. So that was one of our biggest challenges. I was first diagnosed with CML in 1999. I had an opportunity to go on to a new medication and it turned out really to be a lifesaver from my point of view because it revolutionised not only how I felt but ultimately how long I could potentially live for because at that stage they didn't really understand how long the medication would keep people alive for, whether it would turn out to be curative but it was certainly very promising and each generation they've adapted and improved it and that's been in no inconsiderable part due to Tim. When we first had access to these very exciting new drugs, we were hoping that we'd improve the outcome for patients with CML from the expected survival of three to five years. And that was achieved over the first decade. Over the last 10 years, we've become more ambitious. And we're now starting to see uh, through our own trials that some patients who are on these long-term therapy can actually stop therapy altogether and remain in remission. It's been quite an exciting time for us where we've moved the field from one where we're managing a chronic disease to one where we're looking at cure.